Hello my friends, today is November 21st. We are expected to have our first freeze tonight, like clockwork. It's just uh, four days later than than anticipated based on the, uh, the almanac. So it's time to start harvesting all the things that will die tonight. As you can see, I have a bunch of peppers here that I need to harvest. And uh, some of these plants I will put inside the house and give to a friend of mine that has a greenhouse. I have a greenhouse, but it's not heated like his. And uh, he will take care of these plants, overwinter them, and maybe keep on collecting the harvest throughout winter. I, I did some propagation this week. I put some of these plants into the ground. They haven't withered or died. I think uh, they're doing okay. We had some good rains, so I think they're gonna root, even though they're big, big woody <laughs> chunks of, uh, big woody pieces of uh, rosemary. I think they're still gonna root. Time will tell though. And uh, I also have some um, plants that I took inside some cuttings and they're in water and those are starting to root. Here are the potatoes. I'm going to probably uncover these potatoes, see if there's anything in there, which I doubt, but these I put these uh, a little late. And uh, all the tomatoes, I already harvested all the tomatoes, all the little red tomatoes, and this plant is loaded with little tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I took all the red ones. I'm probably gonna cover it tonight with uh, some blankets to see if I can uh, see if I can save it because uh, we're getting we're going into the uh, low 30s tonight for a couple of hours and then we're not gonna we're gonna be out of the out of the cold for about five or six days more so i may still get some more tomatoes ripening here's my winter garden this all this stuff is not gonna die tonight it's mustards and kales some lettuce Here's another tomato plant that has a lot of green tomatoes that just don't ripen that fast this time of year. So I may just cut these ones or throw a blanket over them tonight. I don't know. And uh, what else we got here? Same as before. Here's the inside planter that I'll be taking inside. It's got some herbs, some kale. Let me just leave it out. I don't think any, any of the things that are here will die. Here's all the kale. All the kale is coming out nicely. I think I got rid of all my rats. They, they put up a battle but in the end I think uh, I took care of them. I trapped a total of 12. Big boogers too. And uh, so I think I interrupted their breeding cycle. I haven't caught anything in the last week and a half. Maybe there's no more left, or maybe they just got too smart for me, but I haven't seen any more damage. There are the traps that haven't snapped. Uh, the dog where the where Daisy is, right there. I think there's a gopher there. I caught a gopher uh, last week here, and I think there might be another one there. She's been digging around in this little bed, and I know there's something there because her her smell never lies. So I'm gonna put a little treat from tonight, a little trap with some peanut butter, and I will probably catch them. Moving on, in here you can see all the little plants that I'm propagating from cuttings. They're inside. The mint is already rooting. The parsley and the and the rosemary, they're taking a little longer to root, but I think they will root as well. And then I'll put those in a little dirt and just have them for the winter. The the rosemary really doesn't, I'm just playing around with the rosemary. The rosemary doesn't die in winter. And, uh, and I got most rosemary than I'll, than I'll ever eat in a lifetime in this little bush here. So I don't need it, but I'm just playing around with it. Anyway, folks, um, it's gonna be a cold night tonight. I know some of you are already in the dead of winter. For me, it's just getting here on November 21st, but it will get to everybody eventually so take care and uh, until next time good night